or just finishing another strategy session at the Zip Stop in Westby, Wisconsin. Now, this used to be called the Central Express here, but I've been coming here since 2002. We have the butcher, the taxidermist, the bowling alley, everything is right around this location. And we've had a lot of fun memories. Um, but we always come to that, that time of the year where we're past opening day by two to three weeks. Uh, Michigan's opener is right, right today. You come to that point where when do you sit your best stands? When do you take a chance on getting in in some of your core areas? Uh, typically, I'm waiting till the pre-rut, but there's a lot of good time to really hit your stands before that time. I encourage you to chip away on the outside, uh, check your trail cameras, check for tracks, for rubs, scrapes, because if you have a mature buck around your area right now, you're probably going to find some rubs and scrapes. Those older bucks, the older they get, the more rubs and scrapes they lay down, and the more sign you're gonna find. Uh, right now, I'm looking through our trail camera photos and we have some decent bucks. We have several bucks in that four or five year old age class, maybe even a big five to six year old eight point that we call Roy on the one property. Um, so we have some decent bucks hanging around, but is it really that time that we want to go in and hunt and burn out some of our best stands? I don't think so. Yeah, they're showing themselves here and there. So it really is important to exercise a little patience and not go into your best stands early in the year. Now maybe you could take a chance in mid-September, maybe even October 1st, and then if you spook a bunch of deer, if you spook some mature buck that's bedding in there because it's too early to go in, then maybe you can actually allow three to four weeks to pass and then you get into that pre-rut time and then go hit those stands. I'm choosing to, I have a few stands, I, I really have some new stands that we've hung on multiple properties. I can't wait to get into them, but I just, I really need to uh, exercise some patience. We have some good bucks, but I'm waiting for a few that we had around last year on multiple properties that are in that five to seven year old age class that I really want to hone in on. At some point you have to go in and enjoy the hunt and, and that's what we do. It's not all about shooting a six or seven year old buck every single year, but I want to get into a point where you have that balance of not going in too early and ruining those opportunities on those older bucks that might be later because you pushed into those stands uh, way ahead of time and actually not taking an opportunity when you have it. So that opportunity will come later in October, but for right now, I'm waiting. We have some decent bucks. There's a couple of those I wouldn't mind harvesting later in the, later in the month, but uh, we'll see how the season progresses. I'm gonna chip away on the outside with the trail cameras and checking some cards, and uh, we'll see what happens when it gets into mid-October. But it's not time to attack right now. It will be soon. And I, I encourage you to show a little uh, patience when it comes to wondering if, you, if you, you should be hitting those great stands and those best stands that you're waiting for in the core areas of your property this season.